very good morning and welcome back to the brief at 30. You're here with me, Sandro Satije. On your local news, the Samagi Chana Balavege meeting took place in Udugoda, Nitambur today. You may be thinking that we have all fallen into the trap of the elephant flower bud alliance and are starting to believe that elections are not going to be held. The election will definitely be held on the 9th of March. The country is not Ranil Vikramasinghe's property. The country is not the property of the Rajapakshas. Ranil Vikramasinghe still has not learned his lesson. Kotabe had to go home because he did not respect public opinion. Therefore, we ask Ranil Vikramasinghe, you can try delaying the election, but we will rebel in the streets of Colombo for next week. These were remarks made by a parliamentarian of the SJBS, Markar, at the meeting held yesterday. On the news overseas, now the death toll from Cyclone Gabriel in New Zealand rose to seven today. New Zealanders were told the number was likely to rise because emergency services have not yet made contact with hundreds of communities. The Zealand registered with the police as not yet having had contact with friends or family since the cyclone hit. Police said they believe the majority of those on the list do not have communication networks available. In your sports news, Australia won by 10 wickets against Sri Lanka yesterday at the 2023 T20 Women's Cup. For the World Champions, Australia won three. They expected to face their first challenge of sorts when they took on Sri Lanka. On the Women's T20 World Cup in South Africa yesterday, Australia won the toss and chose to field first against Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's winning streak was beaten as Australia took reins over the match, chasing 112 and concluding with just 25 balls. It's all going to be stumped by Australia's Alyssa Haley, while Chamari Adapathu scored 16 of 16 landing the only six of the innings as well. That's all the news for now. Away to lunchtime news on TV1 at 12.30pm for more news in detail.